Welcome to Quoth the Raven, my sailing channel. So, why am I doing this channel? There's tons of sailing channels out there. Well, I have a passion for sailing. There are a few things in life that I, that I feel more passionate about than sailing. And I would like to share that passion. And I'd like to do it in such a way that gives other people an opportunity to share their passions. Artists, activists, authors, poets, politicians. My plan is to take those people sailing and share my passion with them and allow them to share their passion with you. So this is Raven. Raven is a 1963 Marlin 23 built by Cape Cod Shipbuilding in Wareham, Mass. The original design was Nathaniel Hereshoff in the 1920s. Later modifications were made by one of his sons and it has been built by Cape Cod Shipbuilding first in wood and then in fiberglass since the late 1950s. It is still in production today. The previous long-term owners of Raven donated her to Lake Norman Community Sailing in Lake Norman, North Carolina. They sold it as a fundraiser. I found it on Craigslist. I bought it and then had arranged for transportation. I found Sailors Moving Sailors and Derek Leslie did a wonderful job getting the boat here in two days. You might notice that he's got a crane on his truck so he can do all the mast service as well. As Captain Q might say, if it floats, it gets a 10. And she floats. Being 58 years old, she needs a little TLC. And uh, we're going to get to it. So here's the new stern light socket. One of the nice things about using these mounting bases and the cable ties, especially when they stick as well as they are, is that I can control how tight I want those cable ties. And what I will probably do now is put them all on loosely. And once I get everything wired exactly how I want, then I will cinch it down. Not too tight, that's gonna, that's gonna adversely affect the wire. These are the nav lights. That bungee cord I'm passing by, I'll tell you about that in a minute. This is just a wiring job waiting to fail. Absolutely waiting to fail, and that's why I'm rewiring. Now, about this bungee cord. The bungee cord is attached to a swim ladder. The swim ladder is taking the bungee cords and weighting down the hatch. Now that's going to be another project. I'd like to get a better hatch. I'd like to get rid of this swim ladder, which is what holds it down from blowing away. And inside here, most everything's gone. We still have the automatic bilge pump, but everything else looks pretty good in here except for that bus bar, which has got a really beautiful patina to it, which looks really good on something like the Statue of Liberty, but probably doesn't conduct electricity really well. So I spray it with some contact cleaner. I'll clean it up with a wire brush. It's looking a lot cleaner. So here's a little hack for trying to thread a screw. I actually showed this to my carpenter working on my house the other day. If you put the screw in and you turn it like a quarter turn the wrong way, it'll set the thread and then just right in, nice and easy. Again, quarter turn the opposite way, it'll set the thread and boom. Let's kick it up a notch, boys! First thing that I've already done, well, I took
took my list and I thought I did a lot and actually did very little. As you can see, really all I did was replace some halyards and some sheets and an outhaul. I did get that uh, stern light receptacle mounted and I got some wire run. But we have a lot to do. If you want to be part of this, send me a message and I will give you commenting access to the Google Doc. So as I work on the boat, there's three things that I'm keeping in mind. One, and first and foremost, is safety. Are all the systems on the boat safe? Secondly, is how well does it sail? Does it sail the way it's supposed to sail? And three, and this is the one that's been a little bit difficult for me, is the legacy of the boat. I want to keep it true to what the boat was designed to be. I don't think I need to do a full-on, you know, concourse d'elegance refurb, but I want it to kind of look nice and last and take a boat that's already 58 years old and, and make, you know, give it the potential to last another 58 years. So that's my goal. Um, we'll see if I come up with it. Again, your help and your suggestions are always welcome. Let's kick it up a notch, boys! Mm -hmm.